Okay, so I just got done watching uh, The Rock, uh, so that's, this is how I look now after that movie. Um, yeah, it was uh, it was a good slice of like 90s like action cheese, but it was kind of also quite uneven. Uh, you know, one minute there's like you know a lot of fun action, a lot of like cool funny lines, a lot of quirkiness, and there's a lot of like really heavy like melodrama and kind of deep stuff about the military and that stuff, and you know. Like, it, it, it was kind of, in some ways it kind of, it just is a Michael Bay film and it's kind of like, got good but also bad, you know, but it's kind of, but there was like, there were some like good aspects of it, like it was a lot better directed than all of his other movies and it also kind of benefited from having this, um, having like two very like fun, well characterised character, lead characters that really did carry the movie very, very well. And uh, yeah, that and that kind of made it like generally entertaining. But I wouldn't I, like I wouldn't put it up there as like you know top top tier action movie. But you know it was it was still fun. It you know it did have did have a fairly sweet ending. You know uh, especially with the dedicated to Don Simpson thing. It was kind of cool to see how at the beginning of it there was the Jerry Bruckheimer logo, but it all said Don Simpson Jerry Bruckheimer. You know because they used to be producing partners and stuff. So yeah, so yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, Some, if there was a favourite Nick Cage moment, I don't know what it would be. I think it would probably be his introduction where he's, like, playing the, uh, no, 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 yeah, like, there's one bit where he's, the, the first time you see him, he's playing with, like, a, uh, fake gun, and then there's another bit where he's, like, playing a, um, a banjo, I think, in his room and stuff, uh, after he's had this, like, weird intense moment where, like, there was, like, a potential accident with, like, a chemical or something in his, like, place, you know? Um, oh, and also, like, I, th this movie has probably one of the most unnecessary car chases I've ever seen, like, really, all, all that needed to happen was just John Mason just needed to say, oh, I want to go shoot my daughter, and then, you know, I'm sure he could have just listed that as a demand, I mean, maybe they were going to disobey him or whatever, but it, it still didn't need to be, like, a big, long car chase, that was just the definition of filler. Uh, and the movie itself is kind of over long as well. It didn't really need to be the length that it was, but you know, it was entertaining whilst it was on, so yeah.